Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So today I have my August favourite for you. Sorry for not uploading for a little while. I've just been insanely busy with work. Like, it has been crazy. So on days that I have planned to film a whole bunch of videos, I've been called into work and worked like 10 hour days. I'm sitting down and I'm filming two videos today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be back on my normal Monday and Friday upload schedule as of now. <laughs> so I don't actually have that many favourites this month but I thought I would show you guys what I've been loving anyway. It's pretty much mainly makeup. I don't really have any random favourites or anything like that. So the first thing I've been loving is this foundation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. It's what I'm actually wearing today. I was going to do a first impression on this foundation but I thought I would just try it out one day. Um, and I fell in love with it and I've been wearing it every single day since. It gives really great coverage, the colour's a really good match for me actually, and I love how dewy it is, it's really really nice. If you've been watching my videos for a while you know that I am in love with the True Match, and I haven't even been reaching for my True Match, I've been reaching for this for the last couple of weeks, so I've been loving that, and to apply that I have been loving the Sigma F80 Kabuki Brush. I got my Virtechnics sponge, which was a while ago, that's all I used to put my foundation on I stopped using brushes completely. Um, I bought this one a while ago and I used it I didn't really like it that much. I thought it was really hard and I just didn't really like it that much so I put it away and never really used it again. Busted this out again and I have just fallen in love with it. I think I just need to use it like once or twice to kind of loosen up a little bit. It's a bit dirty now because I've used it today to put my foundation on but I've just been loving this. It blends it out really really nicely. Um, looks like skin doesn't go streaky or anything, and I've just been loving this. Ow! <sighs> and I've just been loving this to put my foundation on this month. Another new makeup product I've been loving. I've tried a lot of makeup stuff out in the last month, or I just got in the last like kind of two three weeks. So I'm leaving some of it to put into my September favourites because some of it I've only just used, like been using it for like a week so that's going to go on my September favourites but this stuff I've been using almost all month over the last like three weeks so I'm putting it in this one. So the other favourite I have is this Bourjois, I don't know how to pronounce it but it is a bronzing and a bronzer and highlighter duo so it's just like half bronzer, half highlighter. I haven't really been using the highlighter that much but I'm obsessed with this bronzer. It's what I'm wearing today again and I do have the plain bronzer in this but I think it's a little bit too dark for me. There is a lighter shade but I haven't been able to find it because on ASOS they only sell the one shade. I've been obsessed with this bronzer. It is like the perfect colour. I've been using it every single day. It just looks so nice my cheeks, it blends out really really nicely. Um, the highlighter I haven't been using as much, it is a very subtle highlighter. Um, very pale and I prefer more of like a golden highlighter. So yeah, but I've been obsessed with the bronzer and I've been using that in, like so much this month. Another makeup item, this is like a mini size of it, but I've actually been loving the Benefit Stay Don't Stray um, as an eye primer. This is in the light medium. I've been using this also on days, even when I haven't worn eyeshadow, so I've been putting it on my eyelids just to cancel out any veins or redness or anything like that, and this completely cancels it out and makes it like a nice clean canvas, like, same as my skin tone, pretty much. And, yeah, that's all I have to say about this. It doesn't crease, works really well, and I've just been really loving this this month. Now, the last makeup item I have is this blush from NARS. This was suggested to me by a subscriber to pick up. This is the NARS Amour. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> Amour blush. It's pretty much just a really nice um, deep dark rosy pink. When I first opened this, because I ordered this online from Mecca, when I first opened it I was like mm, I'm not sure about that colour but I've been obsessed with this and I've worn it almost every single day and it has amazing like stain power, like amazing. If I wear makeup for 12 hours, this will stay on my cheeks for 12 hours. Like, it is amazing. And Mecca actually just dropped a lot of their prices. So I think these NARS blushes, they used to be 45, I think they're down to 39 now, which is decent. Oh, it's better than 45. So yeah, I have been obsessed with this blush, and thank you to the subscriber for suggesting this because I am now in love with it. 
couple more favourites. One I've got on my nails right now, even though my nails are really cheap, so don't look at them. Um, it is this nail polish right here. It is... Um, Essie's Merino Cool. I've had this in my collection for a really long time and I've barely worn it. I think I wore it once when I first got it, but I've had this for ages. And since it has been winter in Australia, I decided to pop this on my nails and I fell in love with it. It's like a... How do I explain it? It's like a more kind of greyish. In some lights it looks more purple and in some lights it looks more grey. Um, but I've just been really loving this nail polish and I've had this on my nails probably for like two or three weeks now. <laughs> um, so considering I've had it on for that long, it's actually not that bad. It's only chipped heaps in the last like two or three days, but yeah, it hasn't actually been that bad considering I've had it on for so long. Another favorite I have, um, in case you didn't know, my new job is at Victoria's Secret and I have fallen in love with this perfume right here. This is the Noir Tees or Tees perfume from Victoria's Secret first off. Can we just take a second to admire this bottle? This is like stunning. I love the old fashioned bottle. Um, it smells amazing. This is like me in a perfume. Pretty much. This is like my dream perfume. So it's got vanilla in it. That's the top note. The middle note is, what is it, frozen pear. And then the last note is, testing my knowledge here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last note is gardenia. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that though. It's classified as a warm scent. It is very warm. It's just... Oh, I love it. If you have a Victoria's Secret near you and you have a chance to go sniff this, do it. Because it is amazing. Astor got sent a three month supply of this perfume in particular. We've been open for a month and we're pretty much sold out. That's how popular it is. Like It is our best seller and it is my favourite. So. Ugh, I've just been leathering myself in this. I love it. That's pretty much all my favourites for the month of August. I know it's not that much, um, but September favourites will be jam-packed because I'm trying out so much new stuff at the moment. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!